This hand is insane. Holy sh There's no way this hand could be better. Okay, never mind. There was a way for this hand to be better. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. <laughs> Come on, Hyrule Kraken Razor Mommy, right? Huh? I have an insane hand. Do you have an insane hand? Oh god, his hand is just as insane. Well, it's... Just the two of us insane fellers then. Oh, and a prep sprint next, like two turns from now. Here we go. I'm gonna go Legion Deadly and I'm gonna prep sprint for four cards. Get more ways to cycle my King's Bane that's healing me for five and removing for five. Someone, get me a shower. Here we go. Get this man a shield. Yeah, I agree. He didn't even see the prep sprint yet. Ooh. Ooh. Nasty. Valera versus Garrosh. Victory or death. Watch your back. Hmm, if it's a uh, odd warrior, this hand's actually pretty nice. Raiding party, very nice, very nice. None will okay, I think we win. Because we just punch him. And punch him. And punch him. Ha! <laughs> 8 damage each turn. I'm gonna do 12 damage each turn with a weapon. Do we prep this? Nah, let's save it. Let's do this. A if I lose this game, then I don't know, man. I, I'm trying to think of all the ways I can lose this game right now. And to me, it just seems like such an impossible thing. Like, what can he possibly do to perma break my King's Bane? Because if you lose this game, get some sub. Fine. If I lose this game, I'll get 50 subs. Oh, I'm not. I'm not losing this game. There's no way I lose this game. I'm already gonna win just off my opening hand alone. Not to mention, we're not even get gonna get to the infinite king's main part. Like I shouldn't be doing so well so early. He's at 6 health, and this isn't even my final form. Oh my god! Ooh! Ooh! Oh. Valir versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your Hmm. We can coin raiding party and get out King's Bane, right? In which case makes Cutthroat Buccaneer pretty good. My biggest concern is infinite freeze. It's very spooky. Survive. 
But if we kill each water elemental over and over again, banish them, we can win. You can win this matchup, you just need to apply high IQ. Unban, please. Unban, please. Can do we have a way to log that guy's chat history? What did you say the n-word? You're not supposed to say the n-word. Or did you disagree with me on anything? Because you're not supposed to do that either. We are in an echo chamber of safe space, and we don't like it when our safe space is invaded. Out of my Next turn we can go deadly into cutthroat. And then the turn after that we can go leech into cutthroat. Toes, you should try the new game artifact. <laughs> I feel bad for the people who put all their hopes into artifact. Because it is a uh, It's not doing so good. What to do? What like a lot of Hearthstone streamers were trying to get their foot in the door and put some eggs in the basket, but not all the eggs. Like starting off with some a bit of content, talking about artifact, doing beginner's guide. So that when it blew up, they could be like, Yeah, I was here man. I've been loving artifacts since day one. But I think most realistic people who uh, saw the game knew it wasn't gonna work out very well. Welcome to this show. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to start hitting him in the face. I thought about saving this so that I could um, combo it and activate Cutthroat. Ah, oh, man. But luckily there's only one of those in the deck. We will have to waste the um, combo on Cutthroat though. Unfortunate, but it has to be done. So that we can guarantee the draw on King's Bane. Water Elemental is really bad, but he needs to hit turn 9 and he needs targets too. It's fine. The game is interesting to watch and not play, but economy is a scam. Yeah, the economy, like... I get it's similar to existing physical cards, but we're in the digital era, right? If we Jaina next turn, we're in a lot of trouble. Here we go. Oh, this is a little dicey. Jaina will probably win the game for him. Not because of the- Oh, no! Perfect hand! Ooze, early, Jaina early. I'm drawing double leeching with double cave and shiny finder. Now the game's over. Did you? The problem is the Ragnaros. It's not the freeze. The Ragnaros is worth 16, 16. And I can't attack it next turn. I'll keep trying. Wait. Oh, oh he wants to perma freeze me. That's a cute play. I just need to draw Doomerang or Vanish or Valera. I got a hundred things that help, but also a hundred things that doesn't help. That's one of the hundred things that does help. That's another one of the hundred things that help. There's no way homie runs double gluttonous ooze. Rag will heal for eight. We're not gonna win the rag fight anymore. Like the health rush anymore. Fire 
Oh, wait. I can kill this and this. With one vanish. And he forgot his hero power dealt one damage instead of two. So he has one more rag in there. A clever concoction. <laughs> Oh, I should have Toxicologist Vanish. Oh no, that's another mistake! Damn it! <laughs> Looks like we're gifting out 10 more subs. Well, Toast, by the end of the stream, you're gonna be poor, but man, will you be good at playing Kingsbane Rogue. Yeah, with the extra attack on this, I could have killed Ragnaros. Alright. 10 subs it is. Wow, I spent $100 on subs today, because I just keep making mistakes. I got no more board gears either. I got two subs though. Here we go. You cannot escape the shadow of death. Delightful. He played both Stone Hills and both his RNG taunts, but he might have one more Tar Creeper. Hey, Dog One, jumping on the bandwagon and gifting out 10 subs of himself. Thank you so much, Dog One. <sighs> what we do. Dude. He didn't. He wasn't aware. I don't think this guy realizes Ragnaros will heal him for 8. Like, he's not familiar with that interaction. Because he stays alive for that play. He is, as they say, not aware, right? I think he would have won this if he just knew how Ragnarok worked. He would have had a much better chance. Yeah, I probably just forgot Rag is a elemental, because Here's the thing, Rag is not in standard, right? So people don't see him too much and they don't realize it heals you for 8. Hey, lights out.